The new UN-sponsored Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report was published this month, bringing a cascade of bad news. According to the report, the world will cross a crucial temperature threshold, with temperatures rising by around 1.5 degrees Celsius as early as 2030. And for South America, the impacts might be particularly bad, with temperatures rising even above the global average. In 2019, a nature study forecast that areas currently home to 1.4 million Brazilians will begin suffering constant flooding. Meanwhile, areas occupied by another 1 million people could be permanently submerged as ocean levels continue to rise. According to the study, since 2006, sea levels have risen at a rate of 3.6 millimetres a year. At this pace, seas will be over 1 metre higher by the end of the century. And that alone could have a huge impact on coastal cities in Brazil and across the world. Take for example the city of Santos, home to Brazil's busiest port. Since the year 2000, there have been more floods and undertows than in the past century. And by 2100, if no changes are made, the city will incur damages costing $1.5 billion. Latin America in general is particularly vulnerable to the effects of climate change, both from a physical standpoint, facing more and more natural disasters every year, but also from an economic point of view. For those reasons, many today are asking, are Brazilian cities prepared for climate change? Brazilian scientists have tried to answer this question by looking at the country's richest and most populous state, Sao Paulo. In a recent study, more than half of municipalities in Sao Paulo are shown to have inadequate capacity to adapt to climate change. Municipalities near to or within metropolitan regions, meanwhile, have a higher level. The researchers' objective is to extend the study to other Brazilian areas, but some structural problems are already visible. As one of the study's co-authors, Gabriela Marques de Julio, explains, we're talking about a country in which half of the population still has little to no access to public sanitation. That brings whole new issues to the table. And unfortunately, climate change is not at the forefront of the Brazilian government's agenda. President Jair Bolsonaro has adopted a laissez-faire approach to environmental regulations while promoting harmful economic activities and rolling back oversight. Meanwhile, some of the impacts are already being felt. A study released in April 2020 by the National Water Agency analysed rainfall in cultivated areas between 2012 and 2017, observing a water deficit of 37% even during the most critical stages of crop development. And this is a tragedy foretold. If Brazil continues to neglect climate change issues, it will pay a high price. Like, share and subscribe for more videos on everything Brazil.